Good evening and welcome to this recording from Nerd Central. Uh, I'm wearing a dressing gown because it's actually the middle of the night, which is an excellent time to start messing around with synthesis. Now, if you know a little bit about synthesis, said that, that, that word, synthesis, you may well think that, that you can hear all around now, is an FM synthesizer. Maybe a modular I've built, or something like a DX7. Well, it is kind of uh, a modular I've built, but actually I've built it out of cheap parts, no fancy complicated circuit bending, or hundreds and hundreds of pounds spent. The actual signal source is a very uh, low-end subtractive um, synth box called a Monotribe from Korg, which is rather a wonderful sort of messing with box. It's a, it's a really good way of pushing your creativity because it doesn't do a great deal, but what it does, it does quite well. How do we make an FM sound like that bell sound from a Monotribe? Well, let's find out. Okay, well here's the aforementioned monotribe. Turn that up. Okay, that's a little bit. That gives the, the bit more musicality. Let's turn that back down again. The important bit is this oscillator. Move that out of the way. Over here, this is the main oscillator. It's only one of them on the monotribe, and it's set to produce a triangle wave. As we can say, see here, I have a little bit of resonance on the filter, which is a similar filter technology to the, the, the rather famous MS-20. Uh, the filter's about midway, so that's producing a fairly mid-mellow sound, because that, that being a triangle wave going into it. Over here, we have the actual smarts that's producing a bit of FM. Um, we have the level, so this is the volume envelope, is starting high and fading away. So that sounds almost like a struck bell, for instance. I did this. You see, it loses the bell-like quality. It still has the FM quality. Or I can have this envelope, a rising envelope. Still can't believe this noise coming from a monotribe. Anyway, that's that. The next section here is the voltage, con well, the what the low frequency oscillator, so called, is doing. At the moment, it's just set to, con to modulate the frequency of this oscillator over here. Now, the secret with the monotribe, which is very interesting. Whoa, I've knocked something. <laughs> the, the interesting thing with the monotribe here is that we can, apart from seeing that I've been doing quite a lot of DIY so my hands are mushed up, we can set the, the modulation to fast, I've got it set to triangle again, so I'm now modulating the, lo, the main oscillator with the audio frequency oscillation of the low frequency. And we can see if we change that. Tiny amounts. We change the bell sound. Very okay. delicate. This is the intensity, which has another effect. There, yeah, that's a nice bell sound going the on. The key here is this pedal, which is uh, only cost me thirty pounds. And what it's doing is it's detuning very slightly. So it's taking the input frequency and splitting it into a couple of frequencies to very slightly out. And that mimics a real bell. Without that, the FM synthesis alone sounds metallic, but not like a bell, because bells aren't perfect. It's more like a, a mouth harp or a piece of metal spring-like. That is the secret to adding a little bit of bell to it. Then we go into the mixer onto this bank here from the detuned signal. That's getting sent to the send on the mixer, which is then coming into this echo, which is then delaying the signal and passing it back through the mixer. So the signal's mixed back with itself, which gives a slightly more bell-like ringing quality. 
They sound more like metal bars. What's the secret? If I hold that down till it starts to flash. There we go. Now we have our bells back. So the final piece of the mix, if you want to make it sound really mysterious, I have the compressor in line here. So let's take that out. Without that, it actually, if anything, sounds more bell-like. And then, of course, I want to make it all spooky. Add some reverb. If you fancy doing a synthesis uh, which sounds like bells and you don't want to use something like a set of what do they call those things uh, samples yes that's those evil little devils if you want to do it properly from first principles you can with a couple of cheap pedals maybe a little bit of reverb and a very very simple source of signal like a monotribe well catch you next time thank you very much <laughs>